Hello, everybody. I hope today finds you well. We are returning with uh, Selene finding out about the whole situation. I kind of covered it in another video, but now we get her response in a video during the stream when she just found out that the message was being sent out. Now, this is a tough one because she was not expecting this. They did this right at the moment that her stream was going on, and they really messed up on that part. But here we're talking about more. The whole thing is going to be more about what's going on with her how she responded and how people are responding to the Niji Sanji response. Like I'm, that's what I'm going to be trying to be going through here. And of course, as I mentioned, if this is affecting your mental health, take a break, take a, a moment just to relax and, you know, unwind. But here we go. We're going to go on with this and moving on. Here we go. This was Selene as she just found out what they were doing. And of course the Doki bird, you got, you got to love the Doki bird smugness. I, um, we're going to be watching this right now. But anyway, there is like a lot of stuff going on. Also, a little bit of a note for those who are wondering. All I will say is that I will put up another statement because I believe there are some lies being told right now and I have further evidence and proof later on. There will be a future statement being published by me later on that will further support my evidence. There is a lot of slander and a lot of lies going on right now. I'll be publishing a future statement in the future regarding it which i have evidence and receipts as well as backed up by my lawyer and regarding a document there was a signed legal legal consent between me and the management that it was just going to be between that is just messed up they released this on that video that we saw in my other my other uh video on this whole situation they had they showed all this between me my Why? lawyer and management by the fact that they release that to others is considered illegal because that was not supposed to be seen by anyone else and it was signed by me my lawyer and other lawyers i can say this because my medical history and my medical documents and everything that me my lawyer and other people that were involved with it was all signed and agreed upon i do have more evidence and more receipts and more statements later on that document also has private information regarding me and regarding things that should never have in public to anybody else but me and my lawyer and was going to move on and everything and was never going to address this anymore but because they've decided to address it even though i wanted everything to be over with um that is not my fault because of this i will have to respond with a document that my lawyer has written and i have written up just in case something like this did happen i prepared something just in case but i was going to keep it quiet and keep it private and because that has happened that means that i am now required to release my story and release my statement i'm very very saddened that my privacy was violated with this so i try to leave on very on as good terms as i can i'll also say that i've heard slander about me behind the scenes and outright lies being told about me but what they do not know is that I have receipts that this proves a lot of things that were said about me behind the scenes. It's very unfortunate that I had to make that public, that we'll have to make it public later on. I really do thank all of you guys for being here, for believing in me. I just got a friend that messaged me that they're there for me with all this happening. So uh, it's really reassuring to know my friends are still there for me after all of this. It's really sad because I was really looking forward to Neopets, was really looking forward to moving on and rebuilding myself it really says a lot though people would try to bring down others when people are ready to move on it really says a lot <laughs> it really does say a lot about Niji Sanji that they did this it really does say a lot I mentioned a lot of this in my original video but she seems exasperated she seems like oh my god I really did want to get rid of this and she, she didn't even bring anything up she didn't bring up any any drama anything that they were saying nothing because she just wanted to start her new life as Doki and even then she was like these guys are snakes these guys are not good and I'm going to prepare something just in case she was not going to use it until they did this now, even if it was just like where she was and her diagnosis, which is what she said later on, uh, it still doesn't make it right because most countries have a HIPAA type protection for uh, all medical records unless the other person consents to medical records being or any kind of medical statements being released. It's it should never be released, should never be released. So that's where they messed up. And of course, they keep getting flack later on with Ilir Pandora getting a 
uh, community notes. And I'm going to go into that right after this. Response to uh, Lyra Pandora saying, Hi, everyone. Thank you for your patience during my absence. Myself and some others will be speaking about recent situation in 30 minutes from now. This was the video that we are going to watch. And the video says, This video, Nijisanji talent, referred to a document that was made by Doki Bird, former Silent Taxi, and her lawyers that was given Nijisanji legal. This document was not to be made public, nor to be shown to other talent, as stated in Doki Bird's response. Ilir Pandora, Vox Akuma, and I even do not deserve the platforms that they have been given, whether they were told to do this by management or not. They had the option not to do it, yet they still do hold these levers accountable. Don't care to read people simping their Oshi in my replies. Hold them accountable and hold Niji Sanji as a company accountable as well. They decided to give the scripted statements. They did. Hold them accountable. They must be held accountable for what they're making their, their talents do. And the talents must be held accountable for agreeing to doing what this. Yes, you can say that the uh, the management is like, oh my god, you have to do this. And they have to do this because it's a power play or whatever. They did it. They're adults. They understood the consequences that could happen. And... If you're going to unsub from them, unsub from them. Just don't, I will repeat again, do not send actual hate. Do not try to dox them. Do not do anything like that. Because you're becoming just like them. You're just like them or, you know, doing the same things that they would probably, they're probably trying to do with Selene. We don't even know at this point. Could be. TLDR, they self-reported and claimed Selene proving, providing Nijisanji with proof of the bullying, risk the livers, bullying, get doxed, Illyra included. So they made themselves into the victims, which I don't agree with. I don't agree that they're making themselves into the victims. I don't agree that they should be doing this. This should have never happened. This little thing that happened here should have never been put out into the public. YouTube has just marked, and I'm going to show it here. It has just marked as that message from Nidisanji Yen as unpaid self-promotion. Either they did it themselves or someone else did it for them or someone marked it as that. It has been marked as unpaid self-promotion. That sounds hilarious because, yes, they are kind of promoting themselves, but it just sounds hilarious. I'm just, I'm just, that's, that's what I have to say. From, from what this document is saying, from what she's saying right here, where Millie and Anna lives, that she, I'm just going to watch it one more time because I just need to make sure, I need to make sure that I'm not saying anything dumb. The document is saying that the thing that she's, the legal document that she sent, which is what this is all about, the legal document that Doki sent to, to Niri Sanji to talk about the, the, you know, the things happening, everything like that, has Mini, Millie and Anna's location. Let's just listen to this and just go it back from the end of it again. risk of doxing. Notably, one section of this document alludes to where Millie, Anna, and I live. However, there are also harmful claims Helen made in the document about some livers' personal information that we believe are simply untrue. So going back on this, just just uh, I'm just gonna say anything, then I'm gonna get your guys' opinions on this. Um, mm -hmm. According to what happened here, it is Anna, Millie, and Elira. It looks like because it said Anna, Millie, and I. So it looks like Anna, Elira, and Millie are all co-defendants with Niji Sanji in there, which means that right now some of the rats are going insane because it feels like they're. Why else would they be? Uh, in here, why else would they be co-defendants or their information put on there if it's only about the organization? If it was only about the organization, then their information wouldn't be there. But if it's about them being bullies and them being, you know, her suing them as well or her complaining about them as well specifically, then that's why it would be in the legal document. This is I an intense one. Thank you for your patience. The situation has been incredibly hard on all of us. We're going to share as much as we can in this stream. So please come and watch if you can. And then someone responds, so sad that you stood for this and then threw Selene under the bus. I admired you once. And yes, people are, are not liking this. I don't like what Vox Akuma did. He really, he, because he mentioned oh how she God. was a trouble child or he was he was uh, somebody who was, uh, like she yeah. was somebody who had already gotten in trouble with, with management, somebody already got in trouble with everything. And it's like, what the heck, man? What, why are you being so mean to, to Selene right now? When, when you should try to, you know, just calm situation and just say things outright, not, you know, follow whatever script you were given. With seven hours old, we'll be beginning a 24 hour event featuring front collabs across mm -hmm. EGN and beyond and all in support of safe spread awareness, voices of education with the goal of 50 K. And that was in March 9th of 2023. And Zion sluggy VTuber said, so sad that you stood for this once and then threw Selen under the bus. I admired you once. I totally agree. This has a bad look. I mean, you went yeah. for that type of awareness and then you decided Oh, I'm still going to throw my friend under the bus or someone that you said is your friend under the bus. That's just, I, I mean, just on a, in, even on an objective sense, that's just so much like wrong in there. 
It's yeah. just, I, oh my goodness, I just can't believe that. Yeah. Should have been management, not you guys. Management threw you guys under the bus with the announcement. I'm sorry, but this does not feel right coming from you guys. This is not your responsibility to do damage control for them, whether any color is in the right or not. It's very true. Very true. Concerns that have arisen from related to the current situation. This, if in the stream done earlier today by our livers, a message from Nidhi Sanji Ian, it was mentioned that parts of information received from Selen and her lawyer were shared to them by Any Color Inc. As mentioned in that stream and notice published by Any Color Inc. Notice termination of Selen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Her lawyer claimed, Selen and her lawyers claimed that livers affiliated with Any Color Inc. were involved and that they will hold Any Color Inc. legally responsible. Selen and her lawyer mentioned possibility that they will also hold livers affiliated with any color, uh, Inc. legally responsible. In order to check the validity of Selen and her lawyer's claim, any color Inc. shared only necessary parts of the information sent by the lawyer with our livers and led to inter internal investigation. To begin with, any color Inc. has not made any confidentiality violations regarding the submitted documents or for legal claims such as these. However, regarding the specific information and documents which Selen's lawyer requested that we do not share with our livers with utmost consideration of the request of any color Inc. has not shared any such information. In addition, our livers are not held to any confidentiality, confidentiality obligation regarding the information shared to them from any color Inc. Thus, there are no legal issues regarding the information shared to the public in the stream made by our livers. After rigorous legal check, any color Inc. hereby declares that it has not made any confidentiality violations, which check in the validity of claims made by Selene and her lawyer with this affiliated livers. So, what Nidhi Sandi pretty much did was what like police do in a lot of situations. We investigated ourselves and we found we did nothing wrong because we just told ourselves we did nothing wrong. This is a very, very, very bad take from Nidhi Sanji EN. From Nidhi Sanji anybody. This is a horrible take from them. This is really bad PR because they, even though technically they didn't break the law, they broke ethical and moral codes with this. You're not supposed to share things that are going on in someone else's life with people who are not related to the situation, even though technically you're covering yourself with saying, oh, it's because she said other livers did this. This is wrong. This should never have been done. And that's my final word on this specific message that you're seeing here. They should never have made this. They should never have done this. They should never, they, they are showing that they just are damage controlling in the worst possible way. As I said before, this is all I'm gonna say on this whole issue. I do not like what they did. I want you guys to uh, take a look at everything that I showed here and come up with your own opinions. And of course, let me know down below. I do appreciate every single comment that you make. I do my best to at least favorite them and just take a look at them and read them. I do try to read every single comment. I cannot respond to every single one because there are so many, but I do appreciate you. I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, all of that kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. And of course, take a look down below for in the description for all of my socials comments as well and uh, take a look at this video that i have right in front of you that i think you'll enjoy it's probably going to be more more of this kind of stuff but you know i hope you do enjoy it thank you so much this is the mad salvi i will be seeing you all next time bye bye